you know, more and more, and day by day, I am coming to a realization on what the Bible meant or what God meant or what it is meant when we have to read the Bible daily or often. Because everything that we need an answer for is there. To refer to is there. And that is why today I come to you with a word. Yes, they are mad at you. They are mad at you. Even in the future, they keep getting mad. And some of the people you won't know who is mad at you, but I want to tell you that they are mad at you. And it does not matter whether they are family, whether they are friends, they are mad at you. And this is how the world goes. It's been there from the beginning in the book of Genesis. When Cain got mad at Abel because Abel's sacrifices were better than his. His heart intents were better than his. And Cain got jealous and he was mad to the point of even killing his own blood brother. If someone can kill their own blood brother, how much more with someone who's just in your community, a colleague at work, someone around you, a friend, we are not safe at all. And the Bible, when it mentions such things, it it so was a perfect example that you can expect. In okay, to put it simple, is this: when God explained a certain story, next time you read the Bible, also you must be aware that it is also telling you that such things you can expect that your own brother, you can expect that people can do this. If they persecuted Jesus who had no sin, don't be surprised when they hate you who is even capable of sinning. And don't be surprised when they hate you. They're going to hate you more. But the Lord says, do not worry about them. And they are hating you more. Some of them you won't know. They are hating you more because some they will just stab you in the back unexpectedly. But the Lord says, keep watch, trust no one. Only trust in the Lord. Expect a betrayal so it doesn't hurt you. The Lord Jesus expected to be betrayed. That is why he was not angry at all when the, the, all the disciples ran away. He expected that. He foresaw it. So even, you, even if you don't foresee it as a prophecy, expect that they can betray you. That is why it can be easy for you to easily forget and let go and be careful. And I pray for you right now in Jesus' mighty name. If you have been in this situation, you are going through it, you've been through it, you are hating, you've been asking why. This was actually a word for you. May God speak to you more. May the Lord help you, I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'm Ishmael and see you next time.